Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Wanders here. And listen up, because today we're talking about Arizona. Yeah, you heard me right. Arizona. This place is not just about cactuses and cowboys, even though they've got plenty of both. Trust me. We're talking about a whole different kind of adventure, all right? I'm talking about breathtaking landscapes, the kind that makes you want to chuck your phone in a river. Don't actually do that. We're talking about history coming alive. Food that'll make you want to slap your mama. Again, don't do that. Respect your mama. And experiences you won't find anywhere else. Whether you're the kind of person who jumps out of planes for fun, or you're more of a sit in a museum and soak up the AC type, Arizona has got you covered. Seriously, this state is like the wild, wild west of vacation destinations. It's got something for everyone, so buckle up because we're about to dive headfirst into the Grand Canyon state. We're going to hit the must-see spots, the hidden gems, and everything in between. By the time we're done, you're going to be booking your ticket, I guarantee it. This is Arizona, baby. Thank you for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed discovering the wonders of Arizona. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more adventures. First things first, we've got to talk about Arizona's national parks. And guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say these places are straight out of a movie. First up, the big daddy of them all, the Grand Canyon. Pictures don't do this place justice. It's like staring into the mouth of a giant ancient monster, except instead of teeth, it's got layers upon layers of colorful rock. You can hike down to the bottom, raft the Colorado River, or just chill on the rim and soak it all in. Trust me, you'll feel like you're standing on the edge of the world. Next, we got Saguaro National Park, home to those iconic giant cactuses you see in all the westerns. Seriously, these things are massive, like prehistoric skyscrapers just chilling in the desert. It's like walking through a Dr. Seuss book, only real and way more prickly. Keep an eye out for roadrunners too, those little dudes are fast. And then there's Monument Valley. Imagine giant sandstone buttes jutting out of the desert floor, casting long, dramatic shadows. It's like John Ford himself designed this place just to film westerns. You can drive the scenic loop, take a guided tour with a Navajo guide, or just find a quiet spot and watch the sunset over those iconic formations. No matter which park you choose, one thing's for sure, you're going to need a good pair of hiking boots, plenty of water, and a camera with a lot of storage space. Trust me, you're going to want to remember this. Want to Now, I know what you're thinking, museums really, but hold your horses because Arizona's museums are on a whole other level. Take the Musical Instrument Museum, for example. This place is a music lover's paradise. We're talking instruments from every corner of the globe, from ancient flutes to electric guitars. You can even try playing some of them. Then there's the Herd Museum, dedicated to the art and culture of Native American tribes. It's a powerful and moving experience, and you'll Come away with a whole new appreciation for the rich history of this region. And if you're into the whole desert thing, you've got to check out the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. It's not just a museum, it's a zoo, a botanical garden, and an aquarium all rolled into one. You can get up close and personal with all sorts of desert creatures, from gila monsters to bobcats. So, yeah, ditch the history book and get ready to learn something new in the most engaging way possible. Trust me, these museums are anything but boring. All right, let's talk architecture. Arizona's got a unique blend of styles, from ancient ruins to modern masterpieces. One place you absolutely have to check out is Taliesin West. This was the winter home and studio of Frank Lloyd Wright, the famous architect. It's built right into the desert landscape, and it's like stepping into one of his designs. The way the light plays off the angles, the use of natural materials, it's honestly breathtaking. Then you've got Mission San Xavier, go back. This Spanish colonial mission south of Tucson is like a beacon in the desert. The intricate carvings, the colorful frescoes, it's a masterpiece of Spanish colonial architecture and a reminder of the rich cultural tapestry of this region. Whether you're an architecture buff or just appreciate a good photo op, these places will blow your mind. They're a testament to human creativity and the enduring power of design. Chapter 4, Family Fun, Adventures for All Ages. Arizona isn't just for adventurers and history buffs, it's for families too. The Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix is an awesome place to spend the day. You'll see all sorts of cactuses and succulents, learn about desert plants, and the kids will love the butterfly pavilion. Speaking of kids, they'll go wild for the Phoenix Zoo. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! 
you've got all your favorite animals here, plus a petting zoo and a splash pad to cool off in. But if you want a truly wild experience, head to Out of Africa Wildlife Park. This place is like a safari in the middle of Arizona. You can feed giraffes, get up close and personal with rhinos, and even see a pride of lions roam free. So pack up the kids, slather on the sunscreen, and get ready for some family fun in the Arizona sun. Chapter 5, Food, Glorious Food, A Taste of Arizona. All right, let's talk food because Arizona's culinary scene is just as diverse and exciting as its landscape. First up, we've got to talk about Pizzeria Bianco. This place is legendary. People literally line up for hours to get a taste of their wood-fired pizzas. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. The crust, the sauce, the toppings, it's all pure magic. For a taste of Arizona history, head to El Charo Cafe in Tucson. This place has been serving up authentic Sonoran Mexican food since 1922. Think handmade tortillas, spicy chiles, and dishes passed down through generations. It's a true taste of the Southwest. And if you're looking for a fine dining experience, look no further than the Turquoise Room in Winslow. This place is known for its innovative Southwestern cuisine and its stunning views of the painted desert. So whether you're a foodie or just looking for a good meal, Arizona's got something to tantalize your taste buds. Chapter 6, Adventure Time, Unleash Your Inner Explorer. Now for all you adrenaline junkies out there, Arizona's got you covered. Antelope Canyon is a slot canyon carved by centuries of erosion. It's like walking through a work of art with sunlight filtering through the narrow openings, creating surreal and breathtaking patterns. You'll need to book a tour to visit, but trust me, it's worth it. Next up, we got Horseshoe Bend. This iconic bend in the Colorado River is best viewed from the overlook, where you can take in the sheer scale and beauty of this natural wonder. It's the perfect spot for a photo op or just a moment of quiet contemplation. And then there's Sedona. This place is like a magnet for nature lovers and spiritual seekers. The red rock formations are simply stunning. And there are tons of hiking trails, jeep tours, and even vortex tours if you're into that kind of thing. So pack your sense of adventure and get ready to explore some of the most incredible landscapes Arizona has to offer. Chapter 7 more family fun making memories that last we've covered family fun but hold on there's more if you're looking for an adrenaline rush head to flagstaff extreme adventure course this place has zip lines rope swings and obstacles that will test your limits it's the perfect way to get your heart pumping and create some unforgettable memories for a more laid-back experience check out berizona wildlife park this drive-through park lets you get up close and personal with all sorts of north american animals from black bears to wolves to bison. It's a great way to learn about wildlife and get some amazing photos. So whether your family is into thrills or chills, Arizona's got something for everyone. Chapter eight, unique Arizona one of a kind experiences. All right, let's talk about some of the unique experiences you can only find in Arizona. First up, stargazing in Flagstaff. This city is known as the world's first international dark sky city because of its commitment to reducing light pollution. Head to Lowell Observatory, rent a telescope, and prepare to be amazed by the sheer number of stars you can see with the naked eye. If you're into the paranormal, you've got to visit Jerome Ghost Town. This former copper mining town is perched high on a hillside and is said to be one of the most haunted places in America. Take a ghost tour, explore the abandoned buildings, and see if you can spot any spooky apparitions. These are just a few of the unique and unforgettable experiences that await you in Arizona. Chapter 9, Shopping and Souvenirs, Treasures to Take Home. All right, before we wrap things up, let's talk shopping. If you're looking for souvenirs, you've got to check out Old Town Scottsdale. This charming district is packed with shops selling everything from Native American jewelry to cowboy boots to cacti of all shapes and sizes. For a more artistic experience, head to Tlacopac Arts and Shopping Village in Sedona. This beautiful village is home to galleries showcasing the work of local artists as well as shops selling unique gifts and souvenirs. So whether you're looking for a special memento of your trip or just want to do some browsing, Arizona's shopping scene has something for everyone. Outro, see you soon Arizona. So there you have it guys, Arizona, a state 
It's more than just a desert, it's a whole vibe. We dove into the Grand Canyon, explored ancient ruins, ate some seriously good food, and even had a few close encounters with wildlife. If you're looking for an adventure, a chance to escape the ordinary, Arizona is calling your name. Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready to discover the magic of the Grand Canyon State. And hey, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future adventures. Until next time, keep exploring.